So folks, earlier this week, I left my home in South Jersey and drove 22 hours to the Florida Keys. Now, a couple days later, we're here on the side of US-1, about to do some bridge fishing. So this will be pretty much my third season fishing the Florida Keys bridges. I plan to be down here for the next six weeks, fishing, working, and just living, making some fire videos for you guys. And I've absolutely fallen in love with this bridge fishing here. It is probably my favorite method of fishing by far from everything I've done across the East Coast. Just because the weather's so nice, the possibilities of what you're gonna catch are limitless, and it's honestly pretty easy. In this video, I plan on going over the entire technique I used to catch fish here off the Florida Keys. Kind of give you a how-to tutorial and uh, obviously hopefully catch a bunch of fish for you guys. Of course, it wouldn't be a winter day in the Florida Keys without some wind. We've got 10 to 20 mile an hour southeast winds right there. They're hopefully gonna lay down. Plus the, uh, the noisy road behind me may make for a noisy video, so I apologize in advance for that. But we do have a little trick up our sleeve for this video here. So completely new to my bridge fishing arsenal is this absolutely massive, massive setup right here. We've got six fishing rods, bridge net, two containers of live bait, a cooler full of chum, all of our fishing and filming gear. Plus, we were able to bring down our electric bike. So this thing has saved me countless miles driving around the beaches of New Jersey. But uh, today, we have this baby about 1,500 miles south of where I normally ride it around. And uh, this should hopefully save our legs a lot of strain because we have about a mile and a half, two mile walk out to the middle of the bridge there. Stay tuned for this entire video, folks, if you want to see how to catch fish off the bridges. I have no idea what I could catch. Hopefully some fish we can bring home for dinner. And uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's hop on the bike, give it a little ride. Let's get the show on the road. Take the slow and steady here. windy out here hopefully you can hear me but before we jump into the fish i just want to go over a couple of the setups that we have just so you guys know what tackle what rob what reel to bring out here to the bridge so probably the best combo i have for bridge fishing right here is this 4,000 size shimano bait runner on a 7.6 carbon shield we have 30 pound mainline braid with 20 pound fluorocarbon leader so every combo you see over here actually has between 20 and 40 feet of fluorocarbon leader, ranging from 20 pound all the way up to 40 pound. And the reason you do that is because the water here is ridiculously, ridiculously clear, especially on a calmer day. So these fish a lot of times can be very line shy and you wanna just have as low profile as possible. Medium heavy tackle is all you're gonna need, but you do wanna make sure you have some heavy drag because there are a lot of sharks around here sometimes and you wanna be able to burn those fish in as, as quickly as possible. So every other thing here is pretty much the same thing, either medium heavy or heavy, 3,000 to 4,000 size reel, 30 to 40 pound main line, and leader ranges from 20 to 40 feet of 20 to 40 pound fluorocarbon. So over here we have a three ounce egg weight right above a little barrel swivel rated for 100 pounds and about another two to three feet a 40 pound leader to a 4 -oh hook. All the other rods you see over here too are pretty much the same thing. They'll just have a two ounce egg weight, same size swivel, and either a, a 20 to 30 pound leader. That's it for setups and rigging. Now let's go over how you're gonna bait and actually attract the fish to come visit your rods out of the multiple miles of bridge that exist here. Before I start fishing and laying out the entire arsenal of rods, I do like to start with just throwing a big live bait on the first rod to kind of just cast out there, see what's around before I attract a whole bunch of smaller fish in. So in this bucket here, we had mostly live pinfish. Unfortunately, one of my aerators broke. We only have one pinfish that's actually still alive. Before this guy has a chance to die on us, we're gonna cast them out there. We're just gonna bait them right here, right above that anal fin, right in the back of the tail meat there so we can still kind of swim around. First cast going out. Notice how I didn't cast it out that far. There's actually a piling right here. And I like to fish behind all these pilings because that's where it makes an eddy. So in these eddies here, the fish can actually hang out, and wait for the prey fish to sweep right through. And that's where most of the times they'll get a lot of bites. First bait's out. Again, this is our kind of Hail Mary rod to start off with. We're just gonna drop her down here. 
and probably the most important step folks make sure you bungee all your rods down if not you are going to absolutely lose rods because you never know what's going to swim by and eat your bait especially a big live bait like this i mean the chances of this thing getting airborne are pretty much 100 percent no matter how loose you have the drag always be prepared for a giant fish to come and smack your bait so there we go first rods out let's set up a chum let's set up the smaller rods and let's finally start fishing Oh, pinfish just got hit. Pinfish just got hit. Right away. Oh, shoot. Got something on here, good. Oh, just break us off. No, he's on, he's on. All right, we gotta get this guy in quick, guys. There could be sharks down there already. Just got bit on the pinfish. I didn't even get a chance to throw the chum bag out yet. Got a good fish. Don't know what we got, come on. Big something, big something. Oh yeah, good snapper. Flip her up, flip her up. Woo! That easy, folks. Boom, baby. That could be a keeper mud on our first cast of the day. So the keeper size mud is 18 inches. I don't think this guy's gonna make it. He's probably like 16, but smoke that pinfish, dude. I don't know, could be a keeper. Could be a keeper. Measure them on the cooler here. Oh, 17 inches, huh? There we go. <laughs> Just one inch shy of being a keeper, guys. 17 inch mud. Let's send them back. And pro tip to ensure the survival of these fish, make sure you release it away, directly away from where you caught it. So send them down there head first. Good. He made it, perfect. That just goes to show folks, live bait works. You don't always need chum. We didn't even get the entire arsenal set up yet. I was literally just setting up the chum bag. That fish ate within five minutes of showing up. So don't hesitate to wait to get everything set up to fish. Sometimes just cast a line out and you'll catch. That was the last one I have. So we got to finish setting up the chum bag, throw out some shrimp and then cut bait for the rest of the day. But that's a good sign to start off folks. Woo. So folks, earlier this morning, I stopped at the tackle shop. Not only did I pick up some shrimp and some cup bait, but I picked up a couple boxes of these chums right here. And we've already got one in the chum bag right here. So finally, on the subject of baits, what should you bring out here to the bridge? My go-to bait is gonna be shrimp. I picked up four dozen of those earlier. You're gonna catch pretty much every species imaginable on a shrimp. If you're looking to kind of specialize a little bit more, then I highly recommend getting some fresh ballyhoo. So you can catch your own, you can get your own somewhere if you can find them. I just bought these at the tackle shop this morning. I didn't have time to go out there, but these guys are absolutely money for most snapper species, especially muttons. And I just go ahead and I'm gonna chop off a tail. Don't need that, throw out our chum slick. Again, we've got our, our little knocker rig here. 3-0 hook, put a chunk of that ballyhoo on there. And we're gonna cast this down on our spin fisher right here. Another bait runner reel. Yeah, don't need to go too far. Right there's a perfect cast. So we actually have some really nice sized shrimp. We're gonna send it out on our other bait runner here. This is a 2-0 hook, 20 pound leader. This is our light tackle, our finesse tackle. And probably we're gonna catch 90% of our fish today. A lot of these fish like to be on the other side of the driving bridge. So what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to kind of just cast it as hard as we can without hitting the bridge because obviously we don't, don't want to do that and just that time there i got it pretty close to that pylon and there should be some hungry fish down there oh we're on we're on got him got him got something not huge whoa oh yellow jacks a whole bunch a whole bunch of yellow jacks oh my god oh shark oh 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 my god oh my god boom and that is the first real fish of the day folks delicious delicious yellow jack these guys absolutely invade the bridges all winter long and uh, there were like four more right behind that guy there was also a big bull shark so i'll have to be careful i literally set this rod down for like 30 seconds while I changed the GoPro battery and we got nailed right there. So, and literally all that took was a live shrimp. All this gear I brought out here, sometimes you don't need it all. Let's get some more yellow jacks and uh, hopefully no more sharks. They seem to be as far back as possible 
in that shadow line on the other side of the bridge. Pretty stoked we caught that guy because there's a lot of junk fish out here you can catch. You just gotta find the school and conveniently it was right here. Then we just got bit again. Oh yeah, that's a fish. There he is, there he is. Whoa, 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 big one, big one, big one. Big fish, big fish. Oh! I wonder if he got shark. Oh, it just bit me off. Oh, that hurts, you gotta be careful. Oh, that hurts, that hurts a lot. There he is, there he is. Fish, fish, fish. Whoa, whoa. He's fighting, come on. There's sharks in there, bro, come on. Come on. Get up, get up. You don't wanna die. You don't wanna get sharked. I don't want you to get sharked. Yellow Jack, little one. Oh yeah. Woo! Let's go, baby. Smoke them, they're stacked down there, folks. Yeah, buddy, another one bites the dust. Time for the mega shrimp. It's pretty much in every cast bite right here. It's just hard for me to kind of stay tight to them because the amount of bow on my line, the wind is just throttling from the back. But this is fun. We brought the chum out. That's doing its thing over there. We haven't even made any cast yet into the chum slick. Oh, missed them. Damn, oh. They didn't like that shrimp too much. There he is, there he is. What the heck is this? Oh, a yellowtail. Not a yellow jack, but a new species for the day, a little yellowtail snapper. <laughs> All right, we'll send her back. Never know what you'll catch out here. There he is, fish on. Whoa, he's digging now. Jesus, was not fighting like that a second ago. Come on, come on, up, 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 up. Oh, oh my God. The shark almost got him. Jesus, man. Whoa. Giant Bermuda chub. Highly regarded as a trash fish here, but that's a freaking slob. Oh my God. Wow, that guy did not survive. I think we can say that safely. That's nature at work right there. We got, that's why we gotta get these fish in as quick as possible. As much as I wanna fight these guys, we cannot let the sharks win today. Not one bit. Cause they found me and they want everything I want. There he is, fish on, fish on. Come on him. Hey, 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 up, 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 get up. Get up. Oh, oh, oh. Look at them down there, man. Oh my God. Those freaking things. Send them away from all the sharks. I don't know where all the game fish went, but I've got a good feeling it has something to do with those 400 pound sharks down there. Just walked away from the sharks a little bit, looking for those yellow jacks. They seem to have disappeared. And uh, we're just gonna use up a couple more shrimp now. There's a fish, there's a fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah, big one, big one. Come on, come on. Ooh, there's sharks, there's sharks down there, come on. Come on up. Oh my God, so close again to get a shark. <laughs> Nothing special, another short mine. Gives you a heart attack every freaking time. See you bro. Fish, 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 good fish, good fish. Away from the, away, 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 away. Away from the pylon, away from the pylon, away from the pylon. Thing freaking smoked it. No shark underneath right now. That's good to see. Another mutton. Whew. Another short mutton, folks. Beautiful fish to catch here in the Florida Keys. Well, no shark follow that guy. That's good to see. 
Again, probably pretty close, maybe 16 inches there. They're just loving the shrimp. See ya, bud. I'm actually just trying to find the yellow jacks. They seem to just disappeared after those sharks, so I'm just gonna keep walking back and forth, throw a couple more shrimp, see if we can find the yellow jacks. And then we'll really try to hone in on the snapper. Fish on, fish on. Whoa, good fish. Good fish, good fish, good fish, good fish. Come up, come up. Damn it. Definitely just got sharked right there. Man. We're going lockdown drag now, folks. God damn it. Now that's a heartbreaker for sure. Definitely the biggest fish of the day. Friggin' shark, so. We got this drag on lock right now. I'd rather just snap the fish off and get it shark because that's definitely what just happened right there. Just brutal, almost instant too. Oh, it's impossible to get a, a decent fish out of here. folks since the yellow jacks have pretty much disappeared and the current has started to go the other direction we're actually going to switch up our technique from doing light tackle with shrimp to a little bit heavier with some cut bait again because of the sharks there's going to be a lot of competition to get these fish in as quick as possible so we're bossing up we got the heavy tackle here extra heavy setup i brought out and we have a beautiful chunk of cut pinfish here so cut pinfish works really really good here off the bridge let's make a cast so we have the chum slick going over here we are going to put a rod over there but i do want to send this guy over on this side we've been getting so many bites and honestly the fish be able to smell the bait smell the chum and just come right in this area anyway so first cast here we go And this is actually the, my favorite way to fish the bridge, guys. Fishing the ocean side's nice, but you have way, way more structure over here underneath the driving bridge. And uh, I mean, hopefully it pans out and we can get a couple bites. Oh, that's a bite, that's a bite. Is it a real fish? I don't know. That'll be a real fish. Definitely a real fish right there. So what I'm doing right now, I just have the spool wide open. Let them, whatever's chomping on this pinfish head, they just take it. There he is. Got him, got him, got him. Big fish, bigger fish again. Come on, away from the sharks, away from the sharks, away from the sharks. Oh, 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 oh. oh it's a short mine, man. Got my heart racing. That's why I didn't eat it that well. All right, Mr. Mud, another short one, goodbye. Started using bigger baits just to catch smaller muds. <laughs> Can't make this up. All right, folks, again, we picked up a bunch of these ballyhoos too, so they've mostly just been sitting on ice all day. It's time to get these guys active. There we go, fresh chunk of ballyhoo head. Oh, getting bit here on the pinfish again. They're just loving the pinfish today. He's on. He's on. Big one, big one. Oh, he just got sharked. Or he, nah, he pulled. All right, pulled hook, way better than a shark, see? I'll take that all day. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna get sharked, I'm gonna get sharked. No doubt about it. Come up, dude, come up. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Come up. Come up, come on, come on, baby, come up, come up, come up, 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 
God, dude. How, bro? Oh my God, man. Fourth big fish in a row. Gone. Just gone. Just sickening, bro. Come on. There's a fish. There's a fish. There's a fish. All right, ready? Three, two, let's go. Stop him. Stop him. What is that? What is that? Cobia? Oh my god! It's a co it's a remora or a cobia? I can't tell. What the heck? It's a cobia, bro. It's a cobia. It's a cobia. Come on. Come on. Come on. Flip or die. Flip or die. Oh no. Oh no. I couldn't flip him. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. What? Oh my god, I just caught a Kobe off the bridge. Oh my god, I can't believe I just caught that, dude. Wow, these guys got crazy gnarly spikes. I totally forgot about that. Do not want to get punctured. Cannot believe we just caught a Kobe off the bridge. That's gnarly, man. Definitely not a keeper. We're going to let her go. Not even going to measure. <laughs> That's sick. Whoa, little Kobe on the freaking bridge. That's a first ever for sure. Check that guy out, man. Whoa, that's sick. That is sick. All right, well, he didn't get sharked on the way in, so we can let him go on the way out. Off the other side of the bridge. Boom. He's good. Well, just when I thought all hope was lost today, just caught my first ever Cobia ever in my life. Huge catch here off the bridge. Those are pretty much extremely rare. I wish I would have caught a keeper, but that's probably almost impossible to happen again cannot believe i got that guy past the bridge absolutely horsed him in it helped that he came in on top of the water but whoa i don't know if i can call today a fail anymore after that i mean the sharks definitely put a dampener on it today but whew, so you got that guy just awesome awesome catch what a freaking surprise nothing special a cut chunk of pinfish that was it and we horsed them in on the extra heavy. I mean, I really wonder if there's a bigger one and then that could be sick, but hey, I will take that all day. Even though it wasn't a keeper, cool, cool catch. Just when I was about to give up. That's why you always, that's why you never end the scent. Oh my God, I just got bit twice. This one's getting smoked. Let him take it. Or something. Just gotta rip them in here. Oh my god, a shark's on him. Shark's on him. Oh, oh. Got it out of way. Got it away from the shark. First one I won, and that took like every ounce of strength out of my body. Oh my god, dude. Gotta let this guy go. We just got bit on the other rod. This guy's getting smoked by something giant. I highly doubt I'll be able to land this thing, whatever this is. This is mega something. Mega something. Giant fish. Giant fish. Can't believe I stopped it. Ugh. No way I get this thing past a shark. Whatever this is. Ugh. Giant something. Ugh. Come on up, whatever it is, gonna get sharked. If it didn't already. Oh. These sharks are ridiculous. Like every every big fish, it's like the sixth one I've lost. Like I don't even know why I'm fishing anymore. It's sickening. That thing was huge. Oh. Probably was a keeper mine. I, I might just leave now, honestly. Well, that's it. I'm just gonna leave. There's no no chance of me catching any fish of size here anymore. That was probably a keeper mutton. I mean, just absolutely a giant fish. And uh, I mean, I, I don't stand a chance against the sharks here. So this is probably the last time I fished this bridge, uh, at least for a couple months. So 
we're just gonna leave and uh, fish somewhere else next time.